Fine. So this is the setup file through which we can install Tally Prime. Okay. So one click installer will help us to install the Tally Prime in the system. Okay. So using the intelligent setup manager. So this setup manager will automatically detect the system components. Okay. And automatically it will troubleshoot any uh, application and the licensing related issues. So here one click, if I click on install now. Okay, so automatically, so this, this is one click installer. So apart from this, if you wanted to change the application path. Okay, so you can click on configure. Okay, and here if you enter or if you click on application path, so the system or the setup manager has that brilliance to automatically browse the path over here itself and select to which path you want it to install Tally Prime. Okay, and uh, in case if you do not want to do this, so by default, the, the Tally Prime will get installed in your program files. So now if you have seen, so I have just browsed or navigated to this path and I have uh, provided the application path. And now if I click on install, so automatically the Tally Prime will be installed in the system and the application will start automatically. Okay, so it is a one click installer. And Now we are going to discuss on the enhanced user experience. So starting with the top menu. Okay, so top menu will help us to navigate anywhere from anywhere within Tally itself. So what I do is I'll just open Tally Prime. So here, so these are the top menu table. Say for example, company. Okay, if I click on company, so all the options or all the tables under company will appear. And uh, now we have gone to a creation company that is company creation where we, we, we were discussing, right? So how the company creation looks like and now it is more simplified. Okay, so here also, so what we can do is the company data path can be by default or we can browse the path. Okay, so here if you have seen, so here I can browse either to C drive, okay, or you can go to D drive. It is almost similar to your operating system, Windows operating, right? So we used to uh, go to the path and you know select, so whichever drive you wanted to choose. So that kind of a flexibility we have dotted in Tally Prime. So what we'll do is. I'll just quickly create a company and I'll show you what all are the major changes with regard to the company creation screen. So here I'll create a company. I'll say demo company. Say fifth main. So here comes the state and then the country. Okay, so the say the, the state comes first. Say for example, I'm selecting Tamil Nadu. Okay, so I'll select Tamil Nadu. The country says it is India, and then comes the pin code. And here, one more point what we were discussing is further in the state field. If you type as Dubai here, if I type as Dubai, so here what happens is so it would not only change the country to United Arab Emirates, but also the currency is changed to dirhams. Okay, so it also changes the nomenclature from state to Emirates. So if you have observed here, right, the Emirate, it is not a state here. So based on the selection of the country or the based on the selection of, you know, uh, the particular field, 
So it automatically changes whether it is Emirates, state, or district. Say, for example, I'm saying uh, I'll select Colombo. So Colombo, so here we are getting a list. I'll say Colombo, it is in Sri Lanka, right? So the country selection hot happens automatically. Okay, so here no need to worry. So just we need to remember to which state or which district we belong to and just we can key in the information there and tally will automatically take the configurations automatically. Okay, so this is point number one. And secondly, in order to explore more on this company creation. So here in tally RP9, we used to get contact numbers, email ID, okay website other information right contact information so by default it will be hidden in tally prime so what we can do is so here we have an option called f12 i can click on this and enable the option provide contact details to yes and accept and then the pin code telephone number mobile fax email website other information will get loaded automatically okay so this is another level of configuration we can do it in the company creation itself so here what i'll do is i'll select say for example hyderabad okay or i'll say uh, for example telangana so what happens is i'll select telangana so by default the country will get changed to india followed by the currency so one click i can accept by pressing ctrl a that is to accept the screen and automatically if you are having a look at this screen right so by default it is the the tally will take you to company configuration screen so this company configuration is nothing but your f11 features so just have a look at this F11 features once. So what I'll do is, so on the meanwhile, I'll open Tally ERP9 and I'll show you the F11 features of Tally ERP9 also. Then you can have a comparison, okay, between Tally ERP9 and Tally Prime. Okay, so now what I have done is I have gone to tally ERP9 and this these are the company features, right? So if you are observing, so the company features will have accounting features, inventory features, right? Taxation line, statutory, and apart from this, you have TSS and other features. So in tally prime, so what happens is so once you create a company itself, okay. So the basic F11 configurations will appear by default. Okay, so basic informations like accounting features like maintain accounts and bill wise. And when it goes to inventory, so here we have maintain inventory. When it comes to taxation, if you have seen the GST is enabled by default because a normal you know, businesses in India is required to maintain GST, right? So by default, these are the configurations which shows you in a single screen. So instead of going to accounting features, inventory features, or taxation features separately, so all features you can have a look in one screen. Okay. So further, if you wanted to enable, say for example, you wanted to enable cost centers. So what we can do is show more features, we can make it as yes, and then the other features the f11 features will get expanded and more details if you wanted to have a look it, again you can click on show all features and then all the company features with regard to accounting inventory and taxation will get listed where you can enable it so this is the level of simplicity we have brought it in tally prime so what i do is i'll disable or i'll, I'll just uh, other features and advanced features will disable so i'll accept with the basic uh, f11 features and then going ahead we'll try to enable for rest of the options 
okay have accepted so one software creating the company and after conferring configuring the f11 features then the gateway of tally will appear so this is gateway of tally in tally prime 